Okay, so this is our uh, Prius battery. As you can see, I've stripped it down. Uh, I've taken some pictures, which I'll upload how to do that. Uh, basically, it's taken off all the terminals here, which is uh, these, and thousands of screws. It's these here, thousands of screws. Uh, and on the back side here, you can see some I've just got hanging loose. Screws along here. Just got to be careful because there's a lot of cabling in there. These tubes just pop off. Yeah, you can see here, they just pop off again. Careful of this cable in here. Uh, these are just metal support bars, they just hold it in place. They come out with these here. Yeah, they screw into these bars. And again, down the bottom here. Two more, so it's four in total on the side. Okay, uh, to actually remove the individual cells themselves, underneath here is all the little screws that hold it in place. These are the screws, yeah. Each of them is held in by just one screw, either on this side of the battery underneath or over here. Okay, uh, I can attempt to tip this and show you. This is the underside. As you can see, there's still some screws in because the battery cell that I needed to replace was actually one in the middle. It was actually this one here. Okay, so the vital bit. How do you check if your cells are okay or not? Okay, so here we have just a simple cheap multimeter. Uh, this was about 20, 30 pounds. Okay, so you just need to take it, get a volt reading, take your prongs, your negative and your positive. Okay, each of these cells, you can see on the end here, negative, yeah, positive, negative, positive. Okay, so they are switched around, rotated, alternative, yeah. So negative on here, on this side here you can see our positive mark. Okay, so what I'm gonna try and do one-handed here is, let's try and place this so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna hold this with my leg down here. This is our positive reading. We're gonna take our negative. You can see I've got eight volts. Okay, just to prove it, uh, let's do the same over here, the next cell. So again, like I say, they rotate, so this is a negative. Okay, I'm going to hold that with my leg. I'm going to take a positive, and we are going to get a reading of 8 volts again. Okay, so uh, I have checked all of these, and I've actually replaced the uh, faulty cell. I found that it was one faulty cell here. Um, <clears throat> That uh, was giving me a reading. In fact, let me just show you the faulty cell. So this is the um, this is the faulty cell I took out, and as you can see, I wrote on it I'm getting a reading of 6.7. So let's just prove that. Let's get these cables out of the way. See if we can balance this. Multimeter. Okay, so positive down here again, see if I can balance that with my leg. Okay, and negative on the terminal there, and we get in 6.7 volts, yeah, so too low. So I uh, purchased a couple of these um, replacement cells, I think they're just second hand out of a, uh, probably out of a crash Prius or something like that. Um, these were £25 each. I thought I needed two uh, because when the car went in for a recall at Prius, they, uh, they advised me that it needed two cells. In fact, I will show you part of the letter just to prove what Toyota say on these, uh, on these things here. Yeah, so if you can read that. It says carry out investigation work on dash lights, codes P3017 and 3018. 
relating to hybrid battery block 7 and 8. Weak requires new hybrid battery as unable to purchase blocks separately at the price of £1,483. And that is a discounted price. Okay, so as you can see, uh, pretty easy. The only difficult thing with this is uh, the strip down time it takes. Uh, so far it's probably taken me a couple of hours to strip down and replace the faulty cell. Um, once you've done that, really simple. Uh, and it's just a case of uh, following the procedure in reverse order, rebuilding it, putting it back in the car. There's a couple of videos already on, uh, on YouTube by... Um, so a couple of individual guys who have already taken and documented the stages of how to remove the battery itself. They've done a really good job. I'm not going to repeat that. Um, so once you've removed it from the car, all you need to do is actually take, this is the top cover of the Prius battery itself. Yeah, there's just a few screws holding that on. It's very straightforward. Just look around it. You can see the screws. They're obvious. Once you're inside it, you can see the individual cells themselves and with a simple voltmeter all you need to do is test them measure the reading on each of the individual cells and replace the faulty one good luck